All right, welcome everyone. I'd like to call the December 20th, 2021 meeting of the Town of Arlington Redevelopment Board to order. This meeting of the Redevelopment Board is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020 due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. For this meeting, the ARB is convening via Zoom as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating via video conference. Accordingly, please, please be aware that other people may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. So allow me to confirm that all members are present and can hear me, starting with Kin Lau. Present. Dean Benson. Present. Melissa Kuzakalis. Present. Steve Revelat. Present. I'm going to Zimberry, the chair, and I'm here as well. And we have two members of the staff from the Department of Planning and Community Development joining us, Jennifer Wright. Present. And Kelly Lanner. Present. Thank you both for joining us. All right, uh, so we'll go ahead and move right into the first item on our, on our agenda, which is the continued public hearing of docket number 3348 for 833 Massachusetts Avenue. And I believe we have uh, attorney Robert Inessi here to provide us with an update on this, um, this particular property's last visit to the Historic Commission. Yes, can you hear me, Rachel? We can, Bob, thanks. Good. Uh, uh, my clients and I, my client and I, did appear before the Historical Commission after the uh, last ARB hearing, and I reported to the Commission what occurred with respect to the informal vote of the ARB, uh, with respect to the their desire uh, that the uh, building, in fact, come down. Uh, I reported that to the Historical Commission, uh, and in dealing with them, as I have been uh, dealing with them for some time, uh, we got back into what has to be done to restore the exterior of the building. Uh, I uh, suggested to uh, the chair, Joanne Robinson, that it might make sense for them to speak with the ARB. Uh, in any event, I'm at a point now where uh, the building itself, the exterior of the building has basically been recited, okay? Uh, all sides, the back side perhaps uh, needs, a bit, uh, needs a bit more. We're waiting for windows. We have filed today the demo application uh, with respect to uh, uh, the building coming down. That was filed with Mike Champa. Mike Champa may be on the Zoom uh, th uh, this evening. If he is, he, he can corroborate that. So we are prepared to go forward uh, with the demo app before the Historical Commission. Uh, we are in a situation where they have said to us they want the exterior of the building put back the, uh, uh, the way it was uh, 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 previously. We are doing that. If we have to continue to do that, we will. But I think we're now at a point uh, where we are probably going to pursue the demo application and uh, you know through fruition. So uh, there may be someone on this evening from the Historical Commission who may want to address that. I don't know, uh, but uh, I quite frankly, am tired of being a volleyball. And I am not going to be a volleyball any longer. Uh, the only way for that to stop happening is for me to say to everyone at the both boards at this point that we will pursue the demo app because otherwise I'll, I go back before historical and they keep telling me I have to continue with restoring the exterior of the building. I go before the ARB and you folks tell me you want the building to come down. Well, quite frankly, my client's preference would be that the building come down and we construct a new building out fronting on Massachusetts Avenue. 
Well, that is pretty much where we find ourselves right now. So uh, again, if someone from the Historical Commission is here and wants to be heard, and that's, that's fine, I have to go back before them again, and I'm prepared to do that. Uh, uh, but again, that's where my client is coming from. Now, I have Monty the Architect uh, on board this evening. I have Jeff Noyes as well, and I have his contractor, Phil Randall. If you have any questions for uh, Monte, he's here to respond to them. Quite frankly, I was hoping that there could be some sort of an accommodation between historical and the ARB so that I would not be faced with going back before the Historical Commission and uh, be, uh, be faced with the, two, uh, the two-year prohibition. I was hoping that something could be worked out. That's one of the reasons I suggested that the folks on the Historical Commission talk with the ARB. Well, that's where I find myself this evening with my client. We're here to address any questions the board may have. Uh, and I turn it back to you. Then. Thank you. Um, I, quite frankly, don't have much sympathy for um, the fact that you've needed to go back and forth between the boards after years of neglect of this property. Um, the ARB has been consistent in that you need to work together with the Historic Commission, comply with any requirements they have with regard to the repair of the facade that was taken down without permission by any board in this town and that you work towards, should the demo permit be what uh, you ultimately decide to pursue, uh, filing that and going through the appropriate um, channels with the Historic Commission to review what any delay that they might um, require of you. Uh, we've been very consistent in that review. Um, at this point, I'd like to turn it over to my colleagues on the board for any additional comment, I'd like to suggest that now that the demolition permit has been filed, um, the next step is for the Historic Commission to review any contingency they might put in terms of a demolition delay on that property and any requirements they might have for the continued restoration of the facade during that time, and that we close out the uh, special permit the open special permit on this until it is refiled with us with the actual application for what is intended to be constructed on that property. So that's what I'd like to propose and I'd um, love to hear others thoughts, starting with Ken. I would agree with what Rachel just said. Uh, and I would add one more thing. Uh, while you guys are uh, either in a uh, uh, delay by the historic commission or whatever, I would love you guys to start designing a new project and submitting it in during that delay so we, we, we do not extend this delay longer. Um, I, I'm sure you understand, Robert, that uh, if there is a delay, take the delay work of your architect and get a design in front of us so we can start working on the on the on the new building. If that's the way you want to go, I'm okay with that. Uh, but let's, let's, let's try to uh, streamline this a little longer so we don't have an empty building for uh, you know, another two years. Thank yeah. you, Gene? I agree with what both of my colleagues just said. Um, um, I guess the only thing is we kept saying file a demolition permit and part of this, much of the delay, I think is attributable to not having had the demolition permit filed. But other than adding that, I agree with uh, the chair and the vice chair on what they said. Thank you, Jean. Melissa? Um, no comment this time. Okay, Steve? I concur with Mr. Lau. Okay, uh, so that is going to be going to be our recommendation. Um, do you uh, have any questions, Attorney Anessi, about uh, the sentiment of this board at this time? No, I do not. And if okay. I need if I need to continue with the uh, historical commission siding and uh, the exterior of the building, we will do that. But okay. we still will continue with the demo application. Thank you. 
so we'll take a formal vote on the um, and ask for a motion to to close the uh, special permit docket after we um, open this up for public comment at this time. Uh, so any member of the, the public who is joining us this evening who would like to speak uh, on this matter, please uh, use the raise hand function and I'll call on you in the order that the hands are raised. Okay, uh, seeing none, I would like to uh, close public comment on this docket. And I would like to see if there is a uh, motion to close uh, docket number 3348, the special permit at 833 Massachusetts Avenue at this time. So motioned. And a second. Second. Okay, we'll take a roll call vote. Starting with uh, Ken? Yes. Dean? Yes. Melissa? Yes. Steve? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, the next item on our agenda are the meeting minutes uh, from the December 6, 2021 meeting. Jenny, do you have those that we can pull up? And I'll take uh, go through the roll call and we will see if there are any um, additions or corrections, starting with Jean. Uh, I don't have any additions or corrections. Great, thanks. Uh, next with Ken. I'm all set, thank you. Thank you, Ken. Melissa? Looks good. Steve? Uh, I have two small corrections. Okay. Uh, so the first would be the on page four, not, sorry, page five, paragraph one. So uh, at the end of the paragraph, it says planting space. Um, I propose changing that to planting street trees. And the second one is um, this involves uh, some of the open forum comments, and this is just a grammatical thing. It's not to it's not done with uh, agreement or disagreement to what was actually said. But one, two, three, four paragraphs from the bottom, Mr. Loretti's statements. Um, the second line reads about this being a great way to gentrifying the town. I believe that would be should be gentrify. Those are those are uh, my proposed changes. Great, thank you, Steve. And I have no uh, additions or corrections at this time. So, is there a motion to um, approve the meeting minutes from December six, twenty twenty one, as amended? So moved. Second. The roll call vote, starting with Ken. Yes. Jean. Yes. Melissa. Yes. Steve. Yes. And I am a yes as well. That closes agenda item number two. Uh, so we'll now move to agenda item number three, which is open forum. Um, so any member of the public joining us this evening who would like to speak on any matter at all, uh, please go ahead and use the raise hand function and we'd be happy to um, have you speak with us this evening. Give another minute. Um, I can't talk. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Is this Joanne Robinson? I'm sorry, I can't see who's speaking right now. Who is that who's speaking? It is Joanne. Joanne, can you hear us? Joanne, I'm not sure if you're having uh, audio issues. We'll give you another. Um, little bit to see if you can correct that. No, I'm frozen. I my my Zoom is frozen. Okay. It just comes and goes and so I can't <laughs> you know, I can't quite hear and I'm I'm sorry I missed the comment section when you were taking the vote, but I couldn't hear you. 
Okay. And wow. it Sorry. just went bang, bang, and that was it. So I will write you a letter. Um, you, you know, if you'd, like, if you'd like to to speak now, we'd be more than happy to have you. Um, you know, speak speak uh, on behalf of the Historical Commission to the to the board. Um, and you know, if you're if you're having difficulties, I often find that if you turn the video off, sometimes that helps to stabilize Zoom. You might have another unstable connection. I think she's frozen, uh, Rachel. Okay. She so, has a yeah. There she goes. Hi, Joanne. Um, I was just saying, I don't know if you can hear me, that if you wanted to turn your video off, sometimes that helps to stabilize the Zoom connection. I can't hear you. Okay. Um, well, if you did want to su submit, I, I don't know. I guess we don't have um, a chat, but if you did want to submit any comments. No, I, yeah, I, I, you don't have a chat. I was looking for that. Okay, um, well, if you did want to submit comments um, written following this meeting, we'd be more than happy to receive them. Thank you, and I'm sorry to see that you're experiencing technical difficulties. Um, let's see, so, Without seeing any other members of the, the public um, with their hands raised, I'd like to close agenda item number three, which is open forum. The Historical Commission had made a, uh, an offer that we would be uh, willing to approve moving the house forward and putting the addition on the back. Um, that has not been reconsidered. And now you've taken a vote that I was unable to speak about. And I feel like uh, once again, you know, there's a I'm sorry, just Rachel, do you, Rachel, do you think she can just call in on a phone? I'm I'm not sure, and I'm Jenny. I don't know what else to do. We haven't had this issue with a bad connection at one of our meetings before. I mean, the only thing that has happened, the only action that has occurred, is that you closed the hearing, and you're not. You were never entertaining meeting options last to week, but it didn't go very far. So we're getting like bits and pieces right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, jo Joanne. I'm, so I think, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it right now. You okay. can call in. Joanne, if you want, you can call the number on the phone. Okay, I have Try to that. pull that back up then. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, well, you know, we'll, we'll wait for a minute or two while, while you um, close your Zoom and, and dial in through the, through the phone. Okay, so I'll try. We'll, we'll just hang on for a minute. Rachel, I just had a quick question for staff on related to this. Uh, sure. Um, I just had an email. I know from the last meeting, Kelly and Jenny, you guys were looking for comments and you wanted them in by the weekend. Um, I can get them. I just, it's a few things I wanted to get to you this evening, but since I'm seeing you, I thought I'd ask you. On the, okay? on the housing plan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you just send them to Kelly, that would it's be fine. Too, night too late or it's okay still. Night's okay still. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Tomorrow begins today. <laughs> Kelly, you got my comments this morning, right? Thank you. Um, I did, but I think you had the wrong attachment. So I oh, wrote you back. I will look at it again. Thank okay, you. thanks. So I'll just give Joanne another minute or two, and then um, then we'll have to move on.
I can't hear it. They can see me this time. Jenny, you haven't seen her trying to call in on your Oh, oh, there's nobody calling in, but also I'm just checking email. I don't see her reaching out. I mean, the, the number is in the, right on the agenda. Um, okay. So I actually don't have her cell phone here with me at home. So I'm not, I don't know how to reach her okay. right now. I, I have her cell phone if you want me to oh. try and call her. No, actually, thanks, Mike. She's uh, joining right can now. Can you phone. hear me now? <laughs> no, we can. Hello? Okay. Joanne, can you hear us? Just a little. Yes, I can hear you barely. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, so my my uh, uh, opinion is, is that um, we since we have had almost no um, kind of conversation about this, I think it's premature to uh, get rid of the special permit, which you just voted to do, because that is what is protecting, um, you know, is uh, motivating our, our um, uh, you know, uh, our moves to preserve the house in part. Um, in addition to that, I have had a lot of um, number a number of um, support for the fact that that is what the historical commission is doing, and that has not been um, presented. I gave all of that information to the historical commission, but it's not been presented before this board either. Um, and I was going to ask for that opportunity to do that. Um, so I, I don't know what to say at this point. The only thing I can say is that a demolition permit that is uh, uh, <clears throat> filed is, is not appropriate at this point because of the fact that we're in the process of uh, working with the owner to do this restoration of the exterior of the house. And so we would not entertain a demolition permit at this point. And I think Mike Ciampa has, uh, we've, I've talked with Mike about this and that's the way that our procedure will, pro, you know, will move forward. Um, so, by, can you hear me? <laughs> um, so, uh, I will just state that they, um, in closing the special permit, all of the original conditions of the special permit still are maintained. Uh, it is just not open currently in front of this board, in that we are not requiring the applicant to come in front of us on a on a regular basis as we would if the permit was was open. Should any development um, be proposed on this site, they will be required to file a special permit application and come in front of this board for review. Um, you know, my, again, our understanding is that the Historical Commission is um, required to review and, and act on a demolition permit when it's when it's filed. Um, and but we again, this this board has. Um, has no um, no authority over those items that come in front of the historical commission. So we have closed this the special permit, um, but all of the original conditions were none of them were modified. They they remain. Um, and I see that um, uh, the director of inspectional services, Mike Champa, has his hand raised. So I'll call on him next. 
Mike, go ahead. Thank you. I, I just wanted to uh, clear something up in that uh, the, the bylaw states that uh, when a demolition is commenced uh, without permission, uh, the moratorium starts upon that action. So in that case, when the demolition was started is actually when the clock starts ticking. Is that what I understand? That, that is how the bylaw reads, yes. Okay. So um, I hope that is um, a helpful clarification, Joanne, as to what we closed today and um, from Mike as to the, the steps on the, the demolition. I've, I've understood that, but, you know, we postponed um, a hearing for the demolition at, in July. I, or it was August, maybe, um, in order to uh, not consider, I mean, we didn't have a demolition permit at that point. And we considered and the, the owner agreed to do this instead of, um, instead of applying for a demolition permit. Okay. Um, again, we, we don't, um, I, I know you don't have any. I'm just explaining I where the that. where the historical commission is in this. Sure, sure. Well, um, okay. it sounds like they'll be coming back in front of you. So, um, you know, we'll we'll certainly wait to see what the next steps are, as determined by the historical commission. Right, okay. and, but you know, I feel I still feel that there might be some. Um, common ground that we could work on. Um, but uh, is there a representative from your um, organization that wants to continue to work with us? Absolutely. And um, I, I saw that both Ken and Jean had their hand, hands raised. You know, as the project moves forward in terms of what is actually proposed on that site, that is um, what we had indicated to the, the applicant was, was important to us is to ensure that um, without being specific as to what the elements of the historical character of the existing building are that are maintained, that that be um, reviewed together with the ARB and the Historical Commission. But I'll, um, I believe Jean had, you had your hand raised first and then I'll go to um, Ken for any thoughts you'd like to offer to Joanne. Yeah, Joanne, thanks for um, bringing this up. I didn't quite understand one statement that you made, which is mm -hmm. that the historical commission, you didn't say exactly this, but something like is relying on the fact that there is this special permit. Can you clarify what you meant? By that? Well, it is, um, we have over the years tried to work with the redevelopment board to uh, preserve this house because of the fact that the, um, we worked at the first uh, level to try to move the house. Um, off of the property, then that didn't happen. And the special permit, which I believe um, specific, specifically indicates that the property, that the house will uh, not be uh, demolished. And the owner apparently agreed to that in the special permit. Um, and so that's why I felt that we should be working together on a solution. Joanne, I have a slightly different reading of the special permit. Um, as I read the special permit, it doesn't prohibit the demolition. It just requires the property owner to come back to the ARB to get approval if they're going to do a demolition. So it's not a prohibition in the special permit. It just requires a return to the redevelopment board at that point. Um, I, you know, the um, 
the interpretation, I guess, is probably a little bit different um, from what the historical commission believed was in the special permit. Well, I guess maybe we on the redevelopment board might want to send a letter to the historical commission since it's our permit explaining what our permit means on that basis. It's, I understand what you're saying, but I also feel that, um, that the um, design of the special permit, from my perspective, they had a, a deadline to apply for, didn't they have like a 24 month deadline? There was a condition um, for what would need to happen should they act within that time. It, did, it was silent on what happens after that time. Right. Correct. But I'd, I'd and like to- I, And I think, I think repeatedly the redevelopment board had been asked to, um, to reevaluate that. Um, and that never happened, of course. But um, we have um, been, uh, you know, operating under the idea that the house itself has historic value, and um, and we had hoped to work closer with the redevelopment board on this. Thank you. I just want to clarify: I'm not aware of any um, requests that have come before the redevelopment board um, until the redevelopment board actually chose to uh, reopen this um, about a year and a half ago. Uh, Ken, I'll I'll kick it over to you. You have one comment, um, and then I think we need to 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 wrap up and move on to our next agenda item. Ken. Yeah, I've been on this board about maybe six years now. Is that close, Jenny? And uh, in the in the six years times, I have never heard anybody try to reach out to us from the historic board about this house. Uh, we Rachel, we went. Well, 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 let me finish. I I let yeah, you. Yeah, I will let you. Let I'm sorry, I can't. I can't see you. I apologize. <laughs> um, and no one has reached out to us. The best I know of. Okay, I'm not saying you did or did not. As far as I'm concerned, that at the time I've been on the board. There has never been uh, anyone reaching out to us about this project. Uh, it was the board that brought this up and pushed the owner to get something done. And that was about two years ago. So uh, that's my interpretation of what's happening there. We also had a meeting last week with you. And yes. a few board members and, and Mike. And we, we, uh, we made our, ourselves fairly clear, okay? It's up to you to grant him the, uh, ex, uh, the uh, delay or not. That's not within our jurisdiction. But we said that we would consult with you guys, and we said that, and we and we meant that. Okay, so I don't see why you need to ask us again. Uh, you know that we include you. We said we would, and uh, and so well, we will once they present something. But until they do, we have nothing to talk about. That's all I want to say. I uh, no, I understand that um, we worked through the uh, building inspector's office and wrote letters to the building inspector for, um, and I have letters that were written during the time that the house was not being taken care of, and so that was, you know, the the way that we expressed our. Um, our willingness to to try to see if there was a solution, but I don't think it was ever translated. To tell you the truth, <laughs> Joanne, I, I think I think we can all agree that overall it's an unfortunate circumstance that we find ourselves in today with with this house and the condition it's in, and that um, I I I want to assure you that the ARB wants to do the the right thing for the town, which is to ensure that this property is developed. And that it's not continued to to be in disrepair as as um, as it has been for the for the past number of years. And to Ken's point, um, you know, I think what we've made clear to to the owner is that we we do look forward to working together with the historical commission 
um, once a plan for redevelop for the development of the of the property comes in front of us, um, that we absolutely intend to work together with the historical commission um, for for review of that uh, that proposal. Okay. Thank you I very much. That. Thank okay. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right. Um, are there any other members of the public who um, wish to speak with the board this evening? Seeing no hands raised, I will uh, close agenda item number three, which is open forum. And um, at this time, what I would um, like to do is, um, let's see, to, prepo to propose a, uh, to see if there is a motion to adjourn the uh, public portion of the redevelopment board meeting uh, in preparation for moving into executive session. We will separately take a vote to move into executive session for the purpose of approving meeting minutes from the executive session on October 4th, 2021. So first again, we'd need a motion to adjourn the public portion of this evening's ARB meeting. Madam no motion. So moved, and there's a second, thank you. We'll take a roll call vote, starting with Ken. Yes. Jean. Yes. Melissa. Yes. Steve. Yes. And I'm a yes as well. Uh, so the uh, public portion of the ARB meeting has been adjourned, and I would like to um, see if there is a motion to move uh, the ARB into executive session for the purpose of approving the meeting minutes from the executive session on October 4th, 2021. So a motion. All right. Second. Thank you. Uh, we'll take a vote starting with Ken. Yes. Dean? Yes. Melissa? Yes. Steve? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. Uh, so uh, we thank everyone who has joined us this evening. Um, and if you could uh, drop off the Zoom, uh, the ARB will now be moving into executive session.